So we are now going to look at the application application of curved mirrors. We are going to look at application of curved mirrors. And uh, number one Number one, let's begin with the concave mirrors. And then we can say, what are they? We are now trying to look at it. Why could we actually use the curved mirror? An example is a, a concave mirror. Where do you think they are used? So we can start listing one by one. We can talk of, uh, we can say, used, they are used in here. They are used as a, a shaving mirror. Is that okay? We, already, we have already seen that it, in the concave mirror, they also form an erect image in some scenarios where the image is placed very well. So that means that they can also be used as a, a shaving mirror. Two, we can also say they are used as solar concentrator in solar panels the radiation that is coming from the sun is converted to one point so we say it concentrates the radiation the parallel rays that is coming from the sun to one single point and that gets used into solar panels okay and then we can also we can also look at the other uses of concave mirror. Where else do you think concave mirrors are used? They are used in reflecting telescopes. Okay? All the reflecting telescope, we shall analyze this in detail when we come to optical instrument. The Cassegrain's, the Cold's, and the Newtonian's telescope. All of them uses, uses, uses what? Uses a concave mirror as their objective. So, which other use can we then think about? What is other uses of concave mirror? We can say... They are used in a, in a, a projector, projector lantern. You can call it a projector lantern. Okay? They get used in a, they get their use in a, a projector lantern. So also look at projector, how they Concave mirror is also used for concentrating as well the rays from the source. So lastly, they can also be used by the what? They are used by dentists for this examination. Okay? They can also be used by the dentist, by the dentist who can be using it in analyzing it, that is to see the teeth very well. So these are basically you can find more and more of other uses of the concave mirror. Then let's use at the what could be the advantages. Why have we decided to use a concave mirror? Advantages of concave mirror.
we may use some few advantages like one i would say in some cases they form i can say it forms a, a magnified image in some aspect and then also we can say it forms an erect image is that it yeah sometimes we get use of it because of its formation of a erect image and then this basically are also our few examples of concave mirror and then number two number two we can also look at uh, briefly also maybe where do we also use where do we use uh, a convex mirror where do we where do you think that we use convex mirror i can say they are used as a used as a, a security mirror for checking mainly under the trucks at checkpoints okay we use convex mirror for checking under the trucks because if you have a truck it is very hard to go below and dangerous to check if at all there is something they are hiding below the trucks therefore we use a convex mirror when we put it there below the trucks we are we shall be in the position of seeing all the details below if at all there is something which is hidden below the trucks under the trucks we can easily see it and then we can also say where else do we use convex mirror it is used as a driving it is used as a what as a driving mirror it is used as a driving mirror because it has a wide field of view okay most of the driving mirrors in motorcycles in cars what we use the side mirrors are a convex mirror because we can see things of a very big area behind so it also gets its use in such a case and then we can also look at it is used used in super in supermarkets to observe the activities of the customers other than using other than using the maybe the cameras which are now common nowadays in supermarkets but we can also use a convex mirror that will give a wide view of the supermarket in that case you can easily see whichever thing that a customer is doing within the supermarket so this is where basically the convex mirror gets its application or what you are saying that they uses where do we use them where do we apply them you can go on and see more and more of the application and then maybe let's look also as well at its advantages advantages of convex mirrors advantages of concave mirrors you can also correct that advantages of convex mirrors also we can say 
the advantage as it forms a rectangle image and then next is it has a wide field of view so it has an advantage that it forms an erect image and it is also true that it has a very wide field of view you can also look at the disadvantage where we say it forms virtual images yeah? it forms a virtual image and then it forms a diminishing image so those could be basically our advantages of convex mirror and then let's look at the comparison of convex mirror and plane mirror in terms of wide field of view comparison of convex mirror and plane mirror in terms of what we shall only compare them basically basing on the field of view so we can now say if i have a plane mirror here and you happen to be that what happens is so if you have a plane mirror there you will always be in the position of seeing this as the field of view this is the field of view you will be able to see anything in that line but if we come to convex mirror over the same length like this if you saw up and put your eyes in that position for it it will reflect also normally to this and then that you realize that the field of view here this is what they calling wide field of view okay so when you are to when we are to talk about plane mirror and convex mirror using this diagram here we would therefore say that a plane mirror forms a smaller field of view than a convex mirror which has a wide field of view and i saying that this one gives us the reason why we always use it, we use it, convex mirror as our we use convex mirror as our what side mirrors so what could be the disadvantages of the convex mirror the disadvantage of convex mirror is only one you can write it there the disadvantages demerit disadvantage disadvantages disadvantage of convex mirror we can only basically say that it it can what convex mirror has one disadvantage that it, the image in it appears to be closer than its actual position and that may is because accident is that okay you say the image formed it, the image formed appear closer than it is which gives a wrong impression okay that's why if you take your time and then go in this side mirror as an example maybe say this motorcycles on the side mirror they right there the object appears as close and than it is is that it as it's actual distance so when you look through the plane mirror everything looks to be so close than the actual distance 
and that will give us a very wrong impression that can actually disturb in the process of driving. So that could be our disadvantages and advantages and then the application of curved mirrors. Now let's meet in the next part of our of our of our video.